So hello, welcome back. Today, the second round, the second round of the classic series from, from, from Blue Note arrived on Friday and, and I compared them to the other versions I have, which in this case are the SRX from Music Matters, 33 and a third RPM, no analog productions in this case, but still very interesting results, I, I hope and I think with this very, very important releases. In the first video I did a shootout of those two editions, which are out since around six weeks. Lee Morgan, the Sidewinder and McCoy Tyner, the real McCoy. I will put a link down below so that you, if you are interested or haven't seen it, uh, see the first part. So today no cover discussions, uh, a little cover discussion uh, uh, later on, but not how, why not like the tone boards, we discussed that. I think there is all set when it comes to this topic. And in this episode we are talking about these two new editions in the classic series. We are talking about Speak No Evil, Wayne Shorter and the Horace Silver Quintet song for my father. Again, highlights classic titles and that's what it's all about in this classic series. Those are outstanding releases. Those are the top-notch AAA plus titles from, from Blue Note. I think a lot of you are eager to get them in their hands and, and feel how they or hear how they sound. And um, I had the luck to get them quite early here in Germany because they are pressed and printed, uh, the covers, over at Optimal here in Germany. So in this case we may be on the better side when it comes to the delivery date. We can get them quite early. So, as I said, let's start with Song for My Father, this one. It comes with the notorious hype sticker and it says audiophile vinyl reissues from the finest in jazz since 1939 mastered from the original analog tapes, that's what we want to hear or read, mastered by, of course, Mr. Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, and manufactured at Optimal on 180 gram vinyl. So, how does it sound? It sounds audiophile. Again, Mr. Kevin Gray did a great job. Beautiful sounding record, very beautiful sound stage clear, very stable sound stage. I don't go into uh, tenths of a second uh, uh, dropouts or warbles. Um, if, if you are interested in that kind of stuff, uh, uh, I really recommend you the Hoffman forums. There you have uh, uh, those kind of things. Uh, I talk about the overall quality of the pressing, of the mastering, how my impression and my own personal opinion of the pressing is and whenever I can, like in this case, I compare it to editions I have. So, once more, if you consider the price, if you consider the time that has gone by for the original tape, this is a fantastic sounding album. How does it stand up to my favorite release, the SRX Music Matters version? And I really have to say that the SRX in this case, and the difference is, is larger than with the Sidewinder and the McCoy Tyner, is quite listenable. On, on the SRX, version you have more of everything. We have more dynamics, you have more speed, 
more tempo, more more sound stage, wider sound stage. It is overall a little more dramatic and coherent. And in this clearness, it surprised me. But it is how it is. But don't get me wrong, if you listen to this release, this classic release alone, you probably will say, wow, that sounds great. But there is the SRX version and, and it sounds better. One of the main reasons for that may be the vinyl they use. You know, this vinyl has almost no surface noise. And, and why is that so important? Maybe, I think it's so important because noise covers details. Or at least it makes, you, makes it more difficult to hear the details. And, and I think that really helps the SRX versions to sound better. But Again, if you consider the price, the availability against the SRX version, this is the one to go for. Go for the classic, because the SRX versions are near to 300 uh, US dollars and, and it's not that big of a difference. The, car the uh, um, carbon printing is not, not such a, there are slightly differences. The, the, the SRX version uh, um, has a better color, color satu uh, satura uh, saturation, excuse me. Of course it comes with the gatefold, but we don't talk about that topic today. So, classic recordings did a good job. You, if you get yours, you will be happy with it, I'm, I'm quite sure. The second release. The second release is Wayne Shorter's Speak No Evil. And what, what really strikes me was, in this case, the huge difference between the two covers. Here you have the uh, Music Matters and here you have the Classic. Huge difference in, 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 in the blue and I like the Music Matters. In this case, we're talking about the cover now much, much better, much, much better. But more important, how does this sound? Now we're talking about the Blue Note Classic Series release. And once more, great job, well made. Sounds beautiful, beautiful sound stage. The dynamics are great on this one. So, Surebet, very, very highly recommended to get this Speak No Evil from Wayne Shorter. The cover uh, difference though strikes me when it comes to the comparison between those two editions, the SRX edition and the uh, classic series uh, edition. Once more, the SRX is a bit better, slightly better, but not as much as the song for my father. There has been so far, when, it, when I compare all four, all four releases, the Lee Morgan Sidewinder, the McCoy Tyner, the Horace Silver Quintet and the Wayne Shorter, the biggest difference is with the song for my father so far. But you know, of course, it makes sense to compare those records. But let me do something else. Let me now compare the classic series with the Abbey Road Half Speed Masters. I know, quite different things. We're talking, for example, Bob Marley or Rolling Stones, and, and, and now we're talking jazz. But in a way, you can compare them. There are in the same price range, the Abbey Road Half Speed Masters are slightly more expensive, at least here in, in Germany. But there you have a difference. The, the Abbey Road Half Speed Masters are 
nothing compared to their work here. And then if you compare them, see the same price range, then you know how great of a job Blue Note and Kevin Gray at Coherent Sound has done. They are, they sound so much, but these are different worlds. Those are audiophile recordings. The half speed masters are simple marketing fuss, nothing more, nothing more. And I think this is also important to compare those kind of, of releases. And that's what I have to say about them. I hope you liked it and I see you on my next video. Thank you for your time. Bye.